my dad lives in Pittsburgh and he doesn't even know I'm on the radio. He's like, either that or he's lost his mind. Oh, did I tell you what he... Oh, you haven't even heard this story yet. This one, top, this one tops all of them, TR. Uh, so anyway, do you know what he said to me on, uh, on, on uh, Sunday? I think I talked to him on Sunday. Ah, Scotty. Uh, uh, what did you think of the Steelers last night? Unbelievable. I was like, oh, it was crazy. We had a huge bash. What did you think? It was insane. I can't believe they went. Ah, I went to bed after the Bengals took the lead at uh, 16 to 15. I woke up to uh, Jane telling me that uh, the Steelers had won the game and inexplicably. Uh, I was unaware. Uh, I had gone to bed and I missed the end of the game. I said, TR, you can't go around telling people that. Like, you have, like, some kind of good story. I was in bed for the whole thing. Uh, yeah, a lot of people are interested to hear that you uh, piked and went to bed early. Is there anything worse than the guy that walked out of the uh, 1960 World Series when Mazeroski hit the home run? <laughs> or, like, can you imagine being, uh, like, he went to bed and missed the entire end of the Steeler game, and then he bragged about it like it was some kind of story. He was like, yeah, uh, I went to bed, and uh, your mother, uh, she's not my mother, she uh, told me that the Steelers had won. I didn't believe her. There was a whole morning fisticuffs in here. I, I thought she was lying to me, and... Uh, you know, uh, the fact that I uh, got that information relayed third party uh, the day after, I'm like, Dad, stop telling the story like it's cool. Stop telling people you're cool because you went to bed and missed the whole thing. 